Okay, so this is just a little quick little tidbit. Um, I know the video is super long. Um, I'll probably put this in the beginning. Um, for those of you who watched the whole thing, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, I only made it this long, and you'll figure out why, um, you know, it, because I kind of wanted to give everybody, you know, if people didn't know what they were doing, they bought a stat reset, didn't know what they were doing, or they didn't know how they wanted to set up their character. Um, I wanted to give everybody the straight facts and then my opinion on um, what it might be. So I know it's like 21, 22 minutes long, something like that. Um, for those of you who watch, I appreciate it. If this helped you or or you're looking to figure out how you want to um, set up your character, I highly recommend watching the whole thing. And I know it's my own video, but obviously I would recommend something like that. But in all seriousness, I would recommend watching this. I do give out plenty of facts, and then my opinion on what I think you should set your what I think you should set your stats up like if you want to be a looter, a grinder, or just an overall survival character. You know. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Yo, what's good? It's Soul Entertainment TV, and we are back with another Dead Frontier video. Now, I told a couple of people, well, I asked a couple of people in the previous video if you wanted to see a kind of a stat video, um, you know, uh, what I think you should have for, um, you know, certain classes, and then my opinion um, on what classes should be used for. Now, again, that's that's the 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 you know the key word. Uh, is my opinion, or, well, words, technically, my opinion. Now, um, all of the beginning, uh, you know, the beginning pieces that I'm going to be giving are going to be facts, um, you know, just, you know, uh, what strength does, what endurance does, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but then at the end, I will uh, kind of explain what I think certain classes should be used for. So these are my stats right now. Um, I bought a stat reset so I could kind of show you, um, but this is what my stats looked like, uh, before I did the stat reset. So, as you can see, I am a rifle, shotgun, and machine gun class. Um, I'm only two level ups away from being able to use my melee weapon, which is the, uh, machete, but I don't have it yet, so, um, we're gonna skip all that, but... Um, I obviously I'm gonna keep a, a strength is always gonna be at a hundred um, because you need a hundred strength for most weapons and most decent armors. Um, you need a hundred strength, so that's gonna be a constant. Um, I have seventy six endurance. Now this is without the um, without the armor and the guns. Obviously, my armors and guns have MCs on them, but just flat baseline. Seventy six endurance, a hundred agility, seventy two accuracy, only twenty five critical hit, and a hundred reloading. Um, and I'm going to explain why I have these the way I do. Um, I have 100 strength because you need that for most weapons and armors. I have 76 endurance because I didn't want, I didn't really need my endurance to be that high considering I have the, uh, tatakao, 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 titty, titty, shitty, titty. Um, since I have that, it has like an 85% damage absorption and, what was it, 380 durability, somewhere around those lines, so... Um, I didn't really need my endurance to be that high. I saved most of my points for agility and reloading. And the reason why I have 100 agility is so I can sprint a lot quicker. I will break down the agility chart um, further into this. Um, I have my accuracy at 72% or 72%. 72 only because um, with the rifle, I mean, you're pretty much going as long as your accuracy i believe in my you know opinion i think that as long as your accuracy is above 50 with a rifle it already has a high accuracy chance regardless um so you're all good on accuracy um and with shotguns first of all shotgun you don't even need accuracy it's a fucking spread so i mean you're you're bound to hit something and with the machine gun the machine gun that I have already has insanely low accuracy. So I would have to get my accuracy all the way up to 124 just to have reliable aim on screen. Not even perfect aim on screen. So you can still miss. That's why I only have it so high. And then reloading, I have it 100 because I just want to get it done like that. Boom, boom, boom. You know, um, and I will, I will also break down the reload chart. Um... And, you know, sometime during this video. And the reason why I am a rifle, shotgun, and machine gun class is because rifles is for, uh, for me, is for looting. Um, even though the servers are absolutely disgusting right now, um, they are for looting for me because you can get two or three shots off without attracting any aggro. 
Um, so it's pretty good. Uh, melee, obviously, you're completely impervious. Impervious? 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 To aggro because it's silent. And then shotguns and machine guns are just for crowd control. Straight up, if I want to level up or I'm stuck in a building, bring out the shotgun. Especially that chimney sweeper, y'all. What? Um, and then the Scar 9000 is just for straight up, like, just honed in damage. And it just really gets in there. Um, so I'm going to go through some of the charts right now that I have some information on um, for you guys. Uh... Every stat on the side, unless you choose an account that is different, but the account that I currently have, um, which I believe I'm a cook, they start with 25. Um, and with, you know, everything being normal like that, uh, starting at 25, at the max level of 325, you can get 415 stat points uh, to add to your six base stats starting at 25. So you can get five of them all the way to 100, and you can get the sixth one to 65. So, I mean, you could you could do pretty good. Honestly, I would put the 65 for critical hit because who the fuck needs that? Um, my critical hit, by the way, I don't think I explained critical hit. Zero. I mean, the uh, rifle already has a somewhat high critical hit chance. Shotguns have zero, zero critical hit chance. And uh, machine guns, especially the machine gun I have, has very, very, very low critical, ch critical shit chance. Um, so, I just threw that shit to the side. Um, strength is required for just about everything, and the way endurance works is for every one point of endurance you add, it adds two points onto your health. So with the base of 25 endurance, you will have 50 health. With my 76 endurance, um, as you guys can see in the videos I do upload, I have 152 health. Um, that's not including... Um, the endurance you get from armor. I don't believe they add that. I believe they add it somehow, but they don't add it to your health in game. They just have the base of um, of what you have. Like when you see it on your HUD, it's just the base of whatever you have on your um, on your character. So if you have 80 endurance, you will have 160 health. If you have 100 endurance, you will have 200 health. And then of course that is not counting the um, your armor. Um, the way agility works is for every point that you add, mm, let's see, what does it say here? It increases your speed by 0 0.01. So with the agility, um, the base agility, 25 agility, you will start with 3.187 for your walk speed and 5.071 for your running speed. Now that's pretty slow um, but if you can get all the way to 124 you get 4.311 in your walk speed and 6.859 in your um, in your running speed now uh, I believe my agility is like 123 when I put my uh, my armor on so I'm, I'm just about as quick in the game as you can get I've been thinking about GC and all my stuff but I don't know yet so yeah, essentially, for every point that you add to agility, it'll go up by 0 .01. Um, and if you're at the max, you be at your running speed will be at 6.859. Um, again, the, with the way that accuracy works, it, you know, if you have... For things that have very low or ultra-low accuracy, such as a SCAR 9000 or an unlimited rate cannon, even if you had... 124, which is the max. You have all God-crafted weapons. You have 100 um, accuracy on your base person. You have no... You don't have a chance for perfect accuracy or even reliable accuracy. Um, it's just pretty much all over the place. You get what you get. So um, things with low accuracy, if you have just 100, um, you can have reliable aim on screen um, and if with 124, you can have, uh, perfect aim on screen slash reliable aim off screen. So with something that has low accuracy, if you have 80, you're good to go. You can pretty much rely on that for on screen. Um, and you can have, uh, you can have, you know, somewhat reliable, uh, aim off screen. So, um, 
but things that have very high accuracy, such as something like a rifle, if you just have 40 uh, accuracy points, you will have reliable aim off screen. If you have 60, or on screen, sorry. If you have 60, you will have perfect aim on screen and reliable aim off screen. And if you have 80 points in accuracy and you have a very high accuracy weapon, you will have perfect aim off screen. Wherever you're aiming, that's what you're going to hit. So it can be useful to upgrade accuracy if you have something such as a rifle, which is why I upgraded mine a little bit but didn't upgrade it too much. Now, again, with critical hit, um, if you have something that has zero critical hit chance or very low critical hit chance, you have a 0% chance with 124 points all maxed out, you have a 0% chance of critical hit, even if it, even if it has very low critical hit chance, um, such as a minigun. So really no point in doing that, but if you have something like a very high critical hit chance, all you need is 79 critical hit points for an 80% chance to get a critical hit. So that's just about every time. One out of five um, is a critical hit chance. And if you have something that has low accuracy with 112 critical hit points, you will have a 20% chance to hit. So critical hit, unless you have something like a rifle that has a higher um, critical hit chance, really not worth it. So stay away from that if your explosives, well, I don't know what the explosives critical hit chance is, but if your machine guns, shotguns, or even um, like a, you know, um, there might be a rifle that doesn't have higher uh, crit chance, but I don't think explosives have very high crit chance. So I would just say shotguns, pretty much the bottom half, shotguns, machine guns, explosives, just try to stay away from critical hits, pretty much useless to you. Um, the way that reloading works is uh, all firearms um, that you have, if you uh, have 124 reload speed, which is God-crafted um, armor, or not armor, sorry, all of your weapons would have to be God-crafted, um, you will have a reload time of just a quarter of a second. So if you have 124 reload speed, your reload time is a quarter of a second. Doesn't matter what gun it is, bam, quarter of a second reloaded, just like that. If you have 25 um, reloading speed for fast reloading guns, you will have it will reload in 2.23 seconds. For slow reloading guns, it will reload in 3.22 seconds. And um, uh, for very slow reloading speeds, it will take 4.21 seconds for you to reload. But if you have the max, of course, 124, it will take just a quarter of a second to reload all of your guns. So it is very good to upgrade your reloading, especially if you're doing something like grinding, so you don't have to wait all that time to reload your weapon. Um, the way experience works is, uh, I don't even really know if I need to told you, tell you, but if you're nourished, you will get an extra 25% experience. I believe it's 25% or is it 50%? It is, yeah, okay, so an extra 25% if you're nourished, if you're just fine you will get the normal 100 percent experience if you are at um hungry you will get negative 25 percent and if you're at starving you will get negative 50 percent if you're a gold member you get a plus 100 percent if you use an experience boost you get plus 50 percent um so you there's a lot of chances for um for you to gain more experience if you just keep yourself fed okay you fat bitch um but with that being said, you know, coming back to endurance, um, I believe the higher endurance you have, the slower your um, your energy goes down and the quicker it goes up. Um, but don't quote me on that. I just think that that's something that I I might think. Now, with the facts part of this video over, um, I'm going to get into my opinions. I'm going to um, obviously this is my opinion for uh, my sort of set up if I were to change anything it would probably be I would take that down to 75 and I would increase my endurance or 65 and I would increase my endurance um just because well I suck and I need more endurance but um yeah and with the rifle and the shotgun and all that it pretty much the rifle has very high accuracy don't really need that much accuracy and the shotgun and machine gun have like fucking spread so it really doesn't matter um and I would use this for looting as well as grinding and um, I will pause the video and I will reset my stats and um, I will tell you what I think that they should be used for. 
Okay, so I changed around my stats, and I want to say something real quick. I'm sorry for the long video. Um, I just kind of wanted to cover all the bases. I wanted to give you guys as much information as I could scrounge up. Um, so that way I can make this as informative as possible because I know a lot of people they start new accounts um, Or they just started playing the game and they kind of want to know how they want to baseline things and and or some people might uh, You know do a stat reset and they're like oh well I want to use this account for this and this account for looting you know whatever it might be so I just wanted to cover all the bases um, And if you've made it this far you should probably comment cold turkey titties I don't know if I said turkey titties before, but now they're cold, like ice cold, ice cold turkey titties. Um, yeah, that, that 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 sounds appropriate. Now, with this character here, this is completely just in your fucking face, bam, grinding. This is somebody who is like, I need to reload quick, I need to be quick, because I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have a lot of fucking zombies around me, and I'm gonna need a lot of health because with a lot of zombies comes a lot of problems. Um, you know, and they need high power weapons, something that would just destroy things, such as shotguns, machine guns, and explosives. You could take out a whole crowd from behind a wall and never get touched, not once, with explosives. That's fucking crazy. So, if you're looking for just fucking to just destroy some shit, I would go with this with this loadout. Um. Your accuracy does not need to be high because you're using a fucking shotgun, machine gun, and explosive. The fuck? Um, everything else is just straight up there, straight up fucking... This is, a, this is a bomb character. I would use this if I needed to grind, which I kind of do, so, you know, I might be doing that. But I kind of want to loot, too, because I, I want to get some loot done before this event is over. But regardless, this is the... Um, my grinding character and again this is just level 128 some of you might be level 200 so you might be able to i just hit the fucking space bar you might be able to have 100 accuracy and some critical hit you might be a lot higher level than me but for level 128 or somewhere near that level i would go with this loadout for um grinding and yeah grinding okay now um in my opinion this would be the um the best class um somewhat for looting now um when it comes to the proficiencies you only need to worry about the top up if i'm going to be honest um you could do a pistol for silence um basically melee pistols and rifles are semi silent obviously melee is completely silent um, but you could do pistols. I prefer rifles they just do more damage if you run across a siren bam shoot or headshot dead. Um, but as far as the, you know, the last three shotguns, machine guns, or explosives, you would need one of those to kind of just, in case shit hit the fizzan, you could, um, take out loads of zombies very, very quickly. In my opinion, I would choose the explosives. I use the machine gun only because... Um, I use it for other things like boss hunting. I do not recommend an explosive for boss hunting unless you know where you're hunting that boss. You can kind of sit behind a wall and shoot them through the wall. Because um, they're just not that quick. They don't do you know a significant amount of damage. If you have something like a Scar 9000 or like a Wraith Cannon, I would fucking use that. Um, but yeah, so basically... I would do melee, rifles, and then either shotguns, machine guns, or explosives. I would do explosives, but of course, I kind of use my account for multiple different things. Um, as far as strength, that's obviously going to be 100. Endurance, 85. A little bit higher than what I currently have, um, but that's because in case you, you know, are... Sorry, let me just finish cracking my fucking knuckles. Um, in case you are hit or or anything goes wrong while looting you have a little bit of health agility all the way up so the way you can get bing 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 from spot to spot you know you can just run around loot everything very very quickly reloading obviously um at 100 and accuracy not that high because um you don't need accuracy for melee you don't need accuracy for shotguns machine guns or explosives and you only need a little bit of accuracy for rifles so um and critical hit 
you know, I guess it could be good for maybe a melee or a rifle, but it doesn't really need to be that high. So this is my opinion, my preference for looting. Okay, so this is going to be the last one, and I was debating on really doing this one because it was, you know, it kind of just falls under the same category as the two together. Um, this would be my pick at my current level for long-term survival, and I'm going to explain why. Because I know you're looking at my melee, it's like, dude, man, you're a fucking solo, you're in. Melee's only at 50, man, what are you doing? Um, I only had melee at 120 because I wanted to give people who don't have the, uh, the the machete from Halloween, I can't even remember the name of it. Bloody machete, I think maybe something like that. If they don't have that, I want to get. I wanted to give them the opportunity of having something like maybe dual blades or something like that. So, um, that's why I had it at one twenty. But now I'm gonna go to fifty just because of um, that. If not, uh, rework the calculation, take off of shotguns and put it back to melee to reach one hundred and twenty. Um, whatever you need to take off shotguns to get to uh, 120 in melee. Um, so we got the 50 melee. This is long-term survival, obviously. Lots of agility, lots of endurance, lots of reloading. Um, this is the kind of class for, like, you know, you need to run. You're at fucking Sekernon Bunker. You need to run all the way down to the bottom right hand of the map so you can loot a bit. And then you have to go to uh, uh, Precinct 13 because you have a buddy there and you need to lick whipped cream from his balls all the way to the chocolate on top of his titties, you know. Just to make him happy, and then you gotta run, like, all the way the fuck back to second on Bunker. You know, this is, like, long-term survival. Won't really have to... As long as you're not completely trash and standing still, uh, really won't have to worry about, you know, healing too much. Because you pretty much have a fuck ton of health, a lot of agility, tons of endurance. It's just in your fucking face. Melee for silence if you're running the streets or you're looting. Um, as long as there's no boss around, you really don't have to you know, constantly shoot, um, rifles for long range silence, and then machine guns and shotguns in case there is a boss and shit goes down, um, and you need to get the fuck out of there, obviously accuracy is very low, cause you don't need accuracy for melee, shotguns or machine guns, and rifles, it only needs to be so high, um, but I would recommend endurance, agility, and reloading at a hundred, just straight up a hundred, um, for long term survival, those are my opinions. I know uh, other people's opinions will be different. You know, you know, it's just based off of your style. This was just kind of like a, you know, for people, it's like, I just bought a stat reset. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, this is for those people to kind of make an, you know, an educated guess on what they want or just an informed decision. Um, but everything in the beginning of the video was facts, you know, for every one endurance you add, it gives you two health in the game. That's all facts. Um, so, with that being said, uh, I'm going to end the video so I can use, I can, you know, set up the stats that I want. Um, and if you enjoyed, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button. Definitely leave a comment, positive or negative, it doesn't bother me. I just want to see some feedback. And if you enjoyed that much, and you can't wait to see what's next, or this video helped you because you were like, Oh, I bought a set reset, now I don't know what the fuck to do, oh my god, I'm, I made such a fucking big mistake. Um, if this video helped you, and you don't want to miss any uploads that, you know, will come in the future... Um, be sure to definitely go down and turn on post notifications so you're notified every time I upload a video because I'm not going to miss what is next. Thank you guys so much for watching.